Good morning, you guys. It is currently 10 a.m. And I'm very proud of myself because I arrived in London last night and I went like out, out with my friends. And I didn't get to sleep until like just before 3 a.m. So the fact that like I'm up, I'm fresh, I'm ready to go at 10, love it. Today is solo date day because for the last few months I've just been caught, yes, taking myself out alone to do fun things, but very casually like going for coffee, sitting in a cafe. But I want to make it more extravagant because that is the kind of treatment I deserve, guys. The first thing is there is a blank street coffee right next to my hotel so best believe i'm going i've been seeing everyone on tiktok with their blueberry matches and you know your girl has to have a piece of that so 100 i'm prioritizing that and then i'm gonna travel to i think it's in soho yeah like soho area to go and grab brunch by myself at my favorite mexican place which is called madeira at treehouse and then the last stop of the day is i'm going to be traveling all the way to kensington and chelsea because they have this vintage shopping fair on and i bought my tickets like a month back it's literally limited entry you pay to go in and then they have this entire room this fair full of vintage designer jewelry clothing shoes everything like dior gucci all of that but i'm very excited Excited. I think that's gonna make today's solo day a little bit different and then depending on how much time I have I might wander around who knows where the day might take us and then back on the train to Birmingham because it's Sunday today and another working week starts tomorrow but for now let's go and take me on a date I cannot with this weather right now I am beaming with joy like beaming even though I'm very sleepy, like the sky is blue and it's almost November. I have never been happier right now. London in the sunshine hits different. I know this is gonna be a good day. Okay, it's time for the taste test. This is the blueberry matcha. Oh my God. So what, what, what that says, what that sign says. Oh my God. I'm gonna finish this in two seconds. This is magical. I've never tasted anything like it. Also guys, when I came out of this coffee shop to film this clip, before I started, this um, woman approached me. She was like, hi, can you take a picture of me? So I was taking some pictures of her, like over there in that corner. And it was the most wholesome interaction ever. She was like, thank you so much, have a great day. And I was like, you do. And this is what I mean. When you're alone, so many people approach you. And it's definitely one of my favorite things about Solo Day. This is my view. Thank you. Cheers. Today is the first day in a very long time where I literally have a spring in my step. Like I feel like a cartoon character, that level of happiness today. <laughs> because the weather is so good. I have been walking around London all morning, no headphones in for once, actually like fully being present with myself, taking in all the scenery, just the natural ambiance of walking through a street and it's magical. Like I feel like today I'm truly appreciating life and it's good timing because 
I have not been to London for pure enjoyment since February and it's almost November now. <laughs> Every single time I come here, which is a few times a month, it's always for work and I'll try and like text my friends to see if they're around like after I finished a work meeting in London. I've never come down in this many months for pure enjoyment. So this is like truly a win for me. I don't normally schedule this amount of time for myself to like fully take the train all the way down to a different city and have the entire weekend just to have fun and do zero work it's a win. Even last night, like taking the time to see my friends and then having just a full day today where there's no chaos, there's no running around, there's no need for productivity. What a wholesome Sunday. Thank you. Cheers. This is my view right now. A bite with a bit of everything on it. I'm so excited right now. Mm. By the way, let this be a lesson. My friend is literally texting me right now, and we were actually having such an interesting conversation. And even though we're mid conversation, I am putting my phone away, like, because it's a solo day, and that's how much commitment you have to have to it. Do I really just sit here and eat my food and stare into space? Absolutely. I love every second of it. Okay guys, my Uber is three minutes away and then I'm gonna head to the vintage fair, which I'm so excited about. But I had a bit of an epiphany when I was having lunch, um, which I'll tell you guys about, but first, right? I had the most amazing lunch. I am so full, I can't even breathe. But as soon as I sat down for my lunch, the most lovely girl next to me turned around and she was like, hi, is your name Tam? I watch your content, it's so inspiring. So sweet, right? And this happens to me quite a few times where I'll see one of you guys in public and you'll come and approach me to say hi, which I love, but I get so awkward in the moment. So I just wanna put an apology out there real quick because after that interaction is done, I'm like, oh my God, that was so nice and I wish I spoke to her for longer. But I'm just like, oh, it just takes me off guard and then I don't know what to do or say and I feel like I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So if you've ever met me in real life and I've been super awkward, I'm sorry, but just know that on the inside, I'm like bursting with joy, like I'm loving it. Um, but no, she was really nice and I actually love that you guys even take the step to actually come and say hi to me because I know that that could probably be nerve-wracking. This is my Uber LM22. Yes, my Uber is here. Hi, Uber for Tam. Thank you. Cheers. Oh. Okay, I am on my way to Kensington now, so I should be there within 20 minutes and I'm very excited to go shopping and hopefully find some gems. Um, but yeah, when I was in the restaurant, I had this flashback of the first time I went there. I've been there a few times because their Mexican food is chef's kiss. It was two years ago that I went there with a friend and I was vlogging that experience and the waiter that we had on that day two years ago said oh you have a camera out like do you do youtube and i said yeah but like i'm just a really small youtuber i only have like 500 subscribers like it's and i used to say like oh it's nothing it's nothing like and he was like no he was like that's really cool and he said that uh, his ex-girlfriend was a youtuber with a million subscribers and i remember when he said that i was like oh my god that's so crazy like a million subscribers oh my god and then we were having a whole conversation about it and me and my friend was discussing it after the waiter left like imagine being a youtuber with a million subscribers like that was that's so cool and i remember that felt so far off me just like i just thought oh yeah i'm vlogging for fun i have these like 500 subscribers whatever i barely get any views on my videos that was two years ago and now i'm here again and i got recognized for my youtube videos and i'm almost on 700,000 subscribers life is crazy life is crazy so going back to that restaurant and then having that random memory come back that i completely forgot about was a really wholesome moment and this is what i mean guys 
when you stay off your phone and you just stare into space and you got nothing to do but just be with your thoughts, these things come out. Ah, oh, it's such a gorgeous day. Sphinx or bathroom water. That's the design that we made. at the vintage fair and now I'm still in Kensington and I found the cutest little French bakery so I have myself an iced almond latte and I just thought I'd have a little coffee and reading break before I head back on the train home and let me tell you about the vintage fair so first I picked up these gorgeous pearl and gold vintage earrings are you joking I've been looking for cute pearl earrings like this everywhere because they would literally go with my outfit right now I'm obsessed so I got these and the cute old man that sold them to, hit, to me was telling me the entire story of the brand and everything Thing and it was just a really wholesome experience. And then clothing wise, I thought I was gonna step out of there with bags and bags and bags. And honestly, it was quite a chaotic shopping experience. Everyone was very frantic and it was almost like a competition to find the best pieces. Um, and not a lot struck my eye, but I did find a gem. The only clothing I bought, this is from 1990 and it's from the magazine brand Cosmopolitan. Cause they used to have their own clothing brand in the nineties. So I got this amazing jacket. I I actually love this like I should do vintage shopping more often because I love owning pieces that nobody else has already look so it's black suede I got this for 120 pounds and it's basically like a bomber jacket if you guys can see super super cool I'm obsessed it's comfy I can wear it with everything this autumn I'm here for it the weather is still making my life but no today has been such a great solo date day i'm gonna finish it off by drinking my coffee reading a book and then heading home 